Every year, the Serpentine Gallery in London commissions a temporary summer pavilion to be designed by a leading architect of the time. This year, Frida Escobedo was rewarded this honour. It's all about these little moments that start piling on top of each other. It's about the programme, it's about how people interact with it, and that's the most interesting part for me. Frida is a Mexican architect who stands as the second solo female architect to design the Serpentine Pavilion after the inaugurator Zaha Hadid. Frida also stands as the youngest architect to design the pavilion at the ripe age of 39 years old. It's not like a very direct experience of an object in a garden. It's more about like these little frames. It's more like a montage of spaces that happen one right next to the other. Raised walls play a double role. One is for comfort, uh, to allow sun to come in but in a filtered way and to let the breeze come through, but also it has to do with privacy. That comes all the way back to the Arab world. Uh, it's very like common now in Mexico City. You can find it almost in every house. In architecture, a pavilion has several meanings. However, Frida's utopian space lets each user define their own interpretation. Personally, I find the space unifying and intriguing to all ages, something architecture should always care for. Year after year, the Serpentine Gallery presents an archetype to the general public enticing their understanding of architecture. This is crucial to the development of architecture, and I hope it becomes more and more familiar to our culture.